Welcome to my meme show where we talk about memes, random memes that I've just saved on my phone throughout the week. Uh, I have my guest here, Brandon Scott. You can follow him at Brandon Scott Acrobat on Instagram. He's an aerialist and acrobat extraordinaire. Honestly, you're doing really important cultural work by documenting these memes. <laughs> I know. I thank, so you. thank you. Yes. Thank it's, you. Thank you. Yes. It's real. The memes are like eras of our lives. They like, are. And they're like documenting, documenting history as it happens totally. in this really weird way. Totally. I mean, yeah. you think back, you know, like you think back on that boy phase, you know, you think back on where were you when Harambe died, you know, it's like. <laughs> Like, this is the social glue uh, that holds us together. Uh, yeah, <laughs> this is so good. Yes. Me showing my mom a funny meme, and then your mom's like, she's what like the squinting. fuck does this mean? Well, she's just squinting at her phone. Like. And, then, and then it always takes so long, where it, like it's like, oh, ha, 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 and you're like, and then did you even get it? You know, like, because I've shown my mom memes, and she didn't even get it. And I was like, mom, totally. how do you not even what like how do you not understand this meme format like this isn't even like that <laughs> fucking deep you know like oh my god so good <laughs> moms gotta love them moms uh, <laughs> and i said hold up that ain't no hot tub <laughs> T tonight at nine mr crawfish tells us about his harrowing <laughs> tale uh i i like this little crawfish being interviewed uh i thought that was a good that's one a good that's a timeless one. meme right right yeah, evergreen. Your mom could get. yeah that's what yeah may, yeah i mean i would think that that's yeah. the thing is like i would think <laughs> that <laughs> and i would give it to her then she'd be like what you know and you're like ah, never mind i'm sorry <laughs> nothing's worse than when you show someone a meme and they don't get it and you're like Fuck. i know like it's but, the worst but like i know for tj and i because that's the other thing is like like there should also be like a feed of just like you and your relationship with another person, just mm -hmm. the memes that you sent. Each other. I know, like that would be really interesting. As, like, That's, a catalog. That would be a, like a really like a great Valentine's Day thing where if you went back so through funny. and you got all the memes that you guys sent each, yeah, other, sent each other and then like had a little meme book printed, like that would be yeah. so sweet. Because the thing is that like it's interesting to get to know somebody else's meme taste yes. and then like kind of tailor you have to curate you the memes yeah because you know? even if it's not funny to you you can like know that it would be super funny to them oh totally and totally that's, that's that's great hand-picked memes uh, you know like that's when you know like the memes, memes are my love language okay like <laughs> hand-picked memes and i and i find them for these people and i, I send them to them because it's like i, this like, is a I meme thought for of you, you. I yeah thought of you. exactly it's just a little thing that's like i thought of you i saw this meme and it's relevant to your interests and i love you and i know what you like and this is something that you like <laughs> I think conversely, oh, I sent you a meme a couple of days ago. Yeah. And I was like, this is hilarious. She's going to laugh so hard. Oh, and yeah. And then I got a big question mark back from her. Oh, yeah. He got, oh, yeah, he got mad. It. He was like, you didn't get that meme? Feelings. What? And I was like, what do you mean? What meme? What are you talking about? What do you mean? What do you, yeah, what do you mean? <laughs> and then, and then like, and then I realized that he just had an updated his yes his emoji his em yeah. yeah and so his it, emojis yeah, was, uh, and i gave a big question mark. a big question mark. yeah and so i was like fuck you i totally got it i gave you an appropriate emoji response you just haven't you haven't updated yeah. your emojis I update my phone because so it drains the battery life um oh yeah Re remember 11 and mike here they are now feel old yet and that totally <laughs> that little girl and that little boy look just the same it's so crazy i love it so we had a little a little uh pull Pulp Fiction, Stranger Things crossover. Mm -hmm. The really badass kids get visited by the Easter Wolf. Oh. Actually, I was gonna send that to you, Jay, but then I, I think I forgot. Oh. Because that was that was a Jay meme. Yeah. And I was like, oh, Jay likes wolves. I do. And it was Easter time, but then I totally dropped the ball and forgot and didn't send it. Oh man, I love this one. <laughs> I retweeted this one on my Facebook and it got a lot of likes. What it feels <laughs> like when you try to punch in your dream. That sucks so bad. Like, what is that? You try to punch someone and it's like you can't punch and it's like the lamest shit ever and you're just weak and lame. Oh, it's so good. Um, fan of that one. Yeah, I had a lot of likes on that one on Facebook. Tested that one on Facebook. Um, nobody. Millennials in 50 years. That's totally going to be me. That's 100% going to be me. I'm just going to be an old person wearing, like, <laughs> the same dumb shit I'm wearing now. And probably, yeah. I'd be wearing, like, a crazy banana suit or something. Just, like yeah. Just an 80-year-old man wearing, like, patterned leggings. Just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and a leotard. And, yeah. <laughs> Dude, we're moving to leotards real fast, okay? I think oh, the future is so leotards. I, I have leotards. Huh? What will their kids dress like? Huh? What will their kids dress like? Oh, yeah. We have well, to wait that's, and see. that's the question. You know, that's it's fashion. like, how are they going to top us? Yeah. You know, I'm sure they will with some dumb shit. <laughs> Don't worry. 
<laughs> the young will always come up with some new dumb shit. Uh-huh. My sister saw two unaccompanied little children in a trench coat giggling amongst themselves <laughs> yesterday, and I'm absolutely howling. And I swear, if I if I ever had two kids, I would be like encouraging them to do this. All. Yeah, to I'd, be, I'd be like standing would be, on each other's shoulders. Like, Come on, guys! You've I got a trench coat ready for you. We're gonna get into the movies, but we're gonna pay for two tickets. And like I feel like we're gonna do this today, guys. That is. Uh, Let's do that for Infinity War. It's hilarious. Oh yeah. Oh shit. What up? Here comes that boy again. I see. Okay. So I've seen. I don't know if this is like a Grand Theft Auto San Andreas meme thing, but I've seen this this guy from a video game popping up a lot in memes, and it's like, oh, he's being confronted by something. Mm-hmm. I don't quite get it. <laughs> I don't quite know I'm not what's in going that on. Part of the internet enough. But to... I liked this one because uh-huh. I was like, oh yeah. That's... Does this imply that there's a second wave, that boy? I mean, there could happen? always be. There, everyone says he returns. This is he is risen. That boy is. He is risen. He's coming back. The real Easter. <laughs> He's coming back, guys. He's coming back. <laughs> the second coming of that boy. <laughs> oh, I like this one. Cancel me, daddy. Call out this problematic <laughs> pussy. Like I like uh, Jin, Jin Cancel Kazama. me, daddy. I she just like makes memes like this all the time where they just have like weird little girls and then says fucked up shit and stuff. It's funny. I like I like her. You should check out her memes. She's a meme stress. This is a fe- this is a feminine meme. Um, oh yeah, here's here's some nice astrology Taurus, memes. Yes. Waking up in a nap haze from the no special occasion edibles they took <laughs> earlier that day. That was me on 420. Actually, I was totally where I was at. I did eat some edibles. I, was I got on, some. Yeah, I got some chocolate too. Yeah, That's, yeah. I was just all day kind was, of coasting. It like came right up during Game of Thrones, and I'm like. Is this as significant as I think it is? Yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> is it just the weed? Is it? Uh, I can't trust myself. The yeah, that's a good one. I'm glad Tori's here. Crying, crying during Brian. So much crying. So many fucking tears. Uh, Beans. Peeps unveils a new boneless, skinless marshmallow breasts. That was that was actually that saw, was one I for saw you. those. That was one for you for you too, Josh, but I forgot to send that one too. Because you're always buying chicken for us because that's all we eat mm. so <laughs> so that's all we eat is chicken breast so uh spice it up with some peeps chicken breast yeah i know we need to get some marshmallow chicken breast uh the persona i carefully constructed in order to hide my flaws and insecurities cannabis induced social anxiety <laughs> ah, that's like it's so funny that's so true <laughs> like because people are like i get nervous when i'm on weed and it's like yeah because you know you're carefully constructed persona in order to hide your flaws and securities is <laughs> falling away and ripped out from under you when you smoke weed um so that's why you're freaking out you know but you can you don't want to say that to somebody because they probably won't take too kindly to it so you just gotta go i don't know that's crazy that you get weird on weed <laughs> it's crazy uh float universe has got some great stoner psychedelic memes mm-hmm. uh, i'm a big fan of float universe memes so definitely check them out they're one of my favorite meme accounts they also have this one when you take a tolerance break <laughs> oh yeah because it's 420 this weekend too yeah. so there are a lot of great weed memes oh so many good ones and uh and then he was personally taking a tolerance break he was talking about it and so that was how he was feeling where he just was sad and looking off without his friend because i mean that's i mean that's kind of like how i feel like is, is weed is very much like a friend of mine and we hang out together mm-hmm. And when I'm don't smoke weed and I'm on a tolerance break, it is like your friend is gone and you're bored and you're just like, where's my friend? Ugh. Like, oh, we can. I wish we could be hanging out, but we can't. So I totally feel this meme. I'm gonna. I'm not. I'm not on a tolerance break, but I'm definitely trying to like. I'm detoxing right now. I'm trying to like. I'm getting on the detoxing. I'm like, I need to be healthy for a minute. I'm just like, not drink, try not to smoke as much. <laughs> try not to smoke. Eat less sugar. No alcohol. Okay, this is our last one today. Final meme of the day. day. (laughs) I'm glad that you saved the best for last. Uh, Easter egg hunt at my house tomorrow. You're all invited. I thought about sending this to people, but then I was like, this is going to be too weird and no one's going to like it. And I was like, I shouldn't. I just shouldn't. Like, so I didn't. But if you don't know, um, if you're not a gross weirdo and you don't know, there's this guy who makes these weird alien egg sex toys where it's like this crazy you know you kind of see the phallus thing and then you put these gooey eggs in there and then you squeeze them out into whatever orifice and uh and it lays alien eggs inside of you (laughs) because that's some weird fetish that people have and so this is a picture of that so the easter egg hunt at my house tomorrow you're all invited i hide my eggs in weird places you're gonna have to come find them it's creepy and gross and i love it <laughs> so yeah so that's so that's this one so that's our i know so tentacle action for the one. one so that's that one 
this is I yeah I didn't plan for these to all be exposed to the light of day you know like I didn't know we were doing a meme show <laughs> no it show. was perfect it was, it was so was funny so I was just like do you have any have you been saving any memes I'm like uh, I just save them I'm not saving them for the show like we're doing a show about it I didn't know yeah this um, is a new thing like I said yeah. this is our new thing this is our we're new doing thing this now. we're memes. doing this is just on two weeks in a row we're doing it oh we're doing memes now it's like I said it's important cultural work it is important cultural you're like work, a, you're it like is. a um, an anthropologist. Totally, totally. I I do feel like a, a meme meme anthropologist. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not as well versed as some. You know, there's definitely people with a lot more meme knowledge than me. But I definitely I hold Doesn't my matter. own. Doesn't I matter. hold my. I'm a casual yeah. meme. I'm a casual memer. You know, I'm a casual well, memer. We're just observing and documenting. Yeah, exactly. You don't want to okay. take it too seriously. You take yeah. the fun. That's uh, true. That's 100 percent true. Like That's 100 percent true. Your job, don't fun. don't let your memes be dreams. <laughs> Send them to me. Send them to me. Yeah, send them to me. <laughs> put them on the internet. Mail me some um, memes in the mail. Like, put yeah, right mail now. me some physical memes. I still want to do physical memes. I still want to make yeah. some physical memes at some point. Because that was my original thing. Is like I'm like, oh, I want to do a really easy show, but I want to make it hard, and I'm gonna actually print out. <laughs> I'm actually gonna print out the memes and then show them yeah. as a physical meme. But Ooh, the, the, but yeah. it's funny though because it's, it's like because so they're digital. Yes. But it's more work that I don't need to it's do. A lot of work. Like that's like a lot. But, of even work one, for, for even nothing. one would be great. Well, like I was thinking, just like though, the best meme of the week. Pop culture in general is like a scrying mirror, where it's like you can find out a lot about what's going on in the heads mm. of people by checking out what's going on with the memes. And it's really interesting too to see how memes have progressed over the years because it's like I love those memes now that say memes in 2003 versus like memes now, and it just shows like some really simple funny joke where it's like oh some little kid being goofy in a oh. hilarious caption and then now it's like absurdist shit that makes no <laughs> sense it's just like what is this like how they've degraded because, well, and like because i i personally love the memes with their like several layers, layers on top of each other layers. and like things that would be indecipherable in any other moment in time because yeah. like we have these like we've like pieced together these different parts of the internet in a way that made this sense well, it's somehow. Like you can totally mix and match them and like, like you're saying, layer them, layer the ideas <laughs> is so good. A seven layer meme dip. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Exactly.